Guys, for like the first time in a week, like over a week, it, it's actually blue. There's like blue in the sky and the sun is out. We have been so smoky and everything because of that stupid gender reveal um, that yeah, it's just been nuts, but the, the sky is clear and the sun's out and it, it just rained a lot. And so it's all mushy and stuff, but yeah, I'm so excited. So guys, it's super sunny outside and I absolutely love that. Um, also, I feel like this is going to be a longer video, so we're just going to get right into it. If you are not an adult, this is an adult's channel, it is adult content. We talk about like stuff from a collector standpoint, everything like that. I know it's about dolls, but you still need to be over the age of 18 to watch this kind of video. And this It's mostly like a commentary and unboxing channel. My last video was um, Unpopular Barbie Opinions, and today we're also going to do something different. I will be doing unboxings again soon. Um, I had an unboxing planned, but it kind of got ruined, and we'll talk about that later in the video. I will be doing unboxings again soon. I actually have a collab lined up that I'm super excited for. Um, we have both been tested for COVID, like we're good. Um, we've known each other for a while now, and so we will be in, like, close proximity of each other, but we're not, like, you know. Anyway, you guys will see that video when it comes out. The whole point of today's video, um, 2020 has been going on for, like, 10 years at this point, and I have spent a lot of money on dolls and, you know, like, for this channel and everything, and just for myself, and... <clears throat> Because of that, I've noticed like the insane amount of money I've been spending and it's it's bad. Like it it's embarrassing. I don't want to talk to like people I know about it because it's like an incredibly irresponsible amount of money that I've been spending and I shouldn't be doing that, especially when I have student loans. Ooh. On YouTube, I watch like a lot of like makeup content, like other doll YouTubers, a lot of Pokemon content. I love Pokemon content. But one of my favorite things to watch is anti-consumerism content, like um, anti-hauls, why I'm not gonna buy this kind of stuff, like things like that. Um, Shop My Stash, where you just kind of go through your own collection and look at something you haven't looked at for a while instead of like going out and buying something new. And I do that to kind of help curb like my spending habits. Luckily being in college, that's forcing me to curb my spending habits. So I appreciate that. So today we're gonna be doing an anti-doll, anti-haul, which is like a cheese ball name that I absolutely love and came up with. And I think it would just be fun to like go through like Papoulisse Millier, is that her name? Um, the Barbie Instagram account that like always tells you what's coming up, mm, Disney 200's account, like youloveit.com, like all these different sources and we'll just kind of scroll through and look at what's coming up and I'll just talk about like stuff I don't want to buy and why I'm not going to buy it. Also a little disclaimer for like anti-hauls, um, guys in no way am I saying that you're an idiot if you buy this stuff, like, or you're stupid for spending your money on the stuff that I'm talking about. Like, if there's something in here that you love and you think it's worth the money, spend your money. I don't give a shit. Like, it's your money, not mine. I'm just trying to, like, watch my spending because I've spent way too much money on dolls. And if it can help somebody else not spend the same amount of money, then, like, you know, we're here to help each other. And that's the part of being a doll community. These videos were popularized by a YouTuber, Kimberly Clark, who is like an activist, a drag queen, like just all around awesome person. And then I actually watch Abby Williamson a ton and she does a ton of like anti-hall, anti-consumerism stuff where it's like fight the establishment. Eh. And you know, I love stuff like that. Also Hannah from Smoky Glow and they're all talking about makeup and everything, but I don't really see like doll YouTubers talk about anti-hauls, anti-consumerism, stuff like that. Anyway, we're going into one of my like five minute rambly intros. So why don't we go ahead and get started with our first item on the list. 
And it's just all of these little like Barbie sets, like the like this one right here is a pet boutique. And while like the idea is cool, like going to a pet shop and everything, and I'm sure there's like a lot of little accessories in there that I might want, it's not worth buying the entire set for like one accessory. Um, <clears throat> also, Barbie is like obsessed right now with like an insane amount of pets. It's pets everywhere and I just, I don't care. It's like they did some marketing research and they're like, and like two kids in the marketing research are like, oh yeah, I like animals. And they're like, oh, that's it. Like, we're not gonna listen to what adult collectors want. We're just gonna shove a ton of like plastic molded animals into every single place that we possibly can. Um, this makes sense because it's a pet boutique, but you guys know what I'm talking about where there's like a lot of other Barbie sets where they just shove in animals all the time and it's crazy. And then we got a glimpse at the new wave of the female fashionista dolls and um, all the Ken ones I absolutely loved. They were very 90s, very on trend, like we have a Ken in a wheelchair coming out, like that's awesome. But the girls are just what they always are, which, you know, the fashionista line is what it is. It's only like $8, so I can't complain too much. But it's just a lot of like the shirt dresses with like the logos on them and everything. And then um, I I like the one with the big afro. I think even though it's like a shirt dress, it's fun with like the lettering on it. Although it does say fearless, which is like, again, with the logos. The I might pick up the Barbie in the sportswear just for the outfit because I think it's really cute. Maybe the plaid orange haired one with like the lime green fanny pack or whatever. Um, but I'm not like 100% sure on that. Zola espresso coconut water. Um, hashtag not sponsored, but you know. Next we have the new Fashionistas Extra. Um, while I think this is like an excellent step in the, not the right direction, but like a better direction than it is a straight up rip off of the LOL OMG dolls, which honestly, I don't care that they're a straight up rip off because it would be nice to get LOL OMG <clears throat> quality, which we're not going to get from Mattel, let's be honest, but quality, but with like actual like doll proportions that I prefer, not big fat alien heads and giant eyes. And I'm not gonna lie, two of these I'm probably gonna get. The Asian girl, um, probably not. Um, they did her dirty with that outfit. That is definitely gonna be like a tear up with fans. Either people are gonna love that outfit or they're gonna hate that outfit. It's gonna be like no in between. It's not my favorite. I'm very neutral on it and everything. The doll herself is pretty, but the outfit, and I don't wanna spend like, I think they're $30. Um, for a doll that I think is just okay. So I might get two, but yeah, I definitely don't want to buy all three. Also, again, with the pets, dude, I'm so sick of the pets. Like, LOL OMG dolls come with pets too, but they sell them separately, like, if you want to get them. Like, if the Barbie Fashionistas line, I'm a little worried because it's not going to have, like, LOL OMG quality. Like, it's just not. Like, Mattel is, like... We can't trust Mattel at this point. And I feel like if they would stop wasting money on all these pet molds, they could have actually spent some money on like a good amount of product quality, like fabric quality, all that stuff, all those little details that make the LOL OMG dolls so popular, they could use for Barbie if they'd stop spending so much money on like raw material plastics and pet molds. Like, stop it. We don't want pets. Stop giving us pets. Gretchen, stop trying to make pets happen it's not going to happen this doll <laughs> i was gonna bring this up in my unpopular opinions video because it was an unpopular opinion i really liked but the person who gave me their unpopular opinions basically said they don't like male celebrity dolls not being represented by like a male doll which like I do think it's fun that Barbie's doing like a, her own spin on it and doing like her own version of like drag basically. Like that's awesome. But at the same time, yeah, I agree. There are some like male celebrity dolls I wish we would just have as like male celebrity dolls, you know? And so um, I think 
they did Elton Don John kind of dirty with this doll, I think it would have been way better to have an actual Elton John doll. But, um, I don't know. I like her hair and I like the jacket, but it's not worth me spending like a signature price on a doll like that, you know? <laughs> so, in full transparency, um, I did buy these. Pure handled the order very poorly. Um, it's been over two weeks now. Never shipped out my products. Um, I finally contacted them and asked them like, hey, what's going on with this? Are you guys gonna ship out my stuff or not? And then they told me like, oh, we're missing some products so we haven't fulfilled your shipment yet. And I was like, was anybody gonna tell me that if I hadn't called? So originally I was gonna buy these, but now I'm anti-hauling them because they pissed me off. And this is not cheap. Pure has never been a cheap cosmetics company. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, my roommate went into the kitchen and like started microwaving stuff and I'm like, oh, that's not gonna sound good in my video. Yes, the Pure Cosmetics, um, they did me wrong and so I'm like anti-hauling it now because I don't want to give Pure any of my money. Even though I really wanted that Barbie like illuminating setting spray in the bottle, I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons why they can't fulfill my shipment. I wasn't gonna spend this much. I only picked out like a few select things and then I was gonna do a video where we like try on the makeup and play around with it and stuff and just talk about Barbie and thought it'd be a cute video idea. Whole collection all together would have been three hundred and sixty-eight doll hairs. Fuck! Like, what? Why am I spending that? Like, obviously I didn't spend that much, but like, that that's insane. That's a lot. That's like two Integrity dolls. You know, it's... That's that's a lot of money. I could have got Gala's Best from the Silkstone line for like less than that, you know? But damn it, it's pretty. Not as pretty as the first run. The first one was gorgeous, but this one's still very pretty. Flight of, F Flight of Fashion Barbie doll that was um, the contest winner of last year's like pick the design thing on Barbie signature or whatever. One, I don't think I will. I would get her because it's like a pre-sale and everything. And I might have missed the pre-sale. I don't know. I wasn't paying a lot of attention to her. But when I was scrolling through, I, I was like, oh yeah, that's right, she existed. And she was literally like my least favorite design from that competition. I really wanted like the drag queen, like heart face looking one. Like she was my favorite, didn't even make it into the finals. I can see like why people would want this doll, but I'm like 100% sure she's like a $100 doll or something. And I'm not gonna spend $100 on this. Like, she's just not my jam. If you wanna spend $100 on this, like, that's on you. I'm just talking myself out of buying stuff. Yeah, um, she's just not for me. And yeah, no thanks, um, I don't wanna buy it. <laughs> okay, so here it is, like, a year later, which I get, like, stuff takes time to make. We kinda got in the way of everything. But, um, I don't want this Billie Eilish doll. Like, I... Like, if you're, like, a super fan of Billie Eilish, I get it. Um, I can't remember. I'm like, how much is she? Well, I just looked up her price, and she's not that much. She ranges anywhere from, like, $30 to $40, depending on if you're buying her at, like, Target or Best Buy or something. Um, it's, just, it's just not my thing. Um, the song was really catchy and fun. It was overplayed a lot. Um, kind of, like, let it go from Frozen. It was just a lot, and so... I don't know. But yeah, I think if like she's if she's like your girl right now, like she's your diva, like Miley Cyrus is like my diva, like yeah, like get her. Like it I get it. Um especially like thirty dollars isn't a lot. I just don't want to spend thirty dollars on this doll. But she is like ten and a half inches. She's she's kinda on the one six scale. Another thing I do not want to be like worried about buying anymore is all the LOL OMG dolls. It is absolutely ridiculous. We just got like another eight in the remix design line. Then there's some more coming out for like, what is this winter line called? Winter chill line. And uh, that's just another four dolls. And they're, they could be anywhere from like 26 to like $35, probably 35, depending on if they come with like some stuff. And then the Elvis Presley, like $50 collector doll and everything. The base stand is cool and everything. It's just, 
that's just like another $50. Like I can't keep up with all of these LOL OMG dolls, especially when like there's maybe one out of each collection that I absolutely love. So I shouldn't be buying like all four just to be like a completist, you know? And luckily because I was never able to get my hands on 24 karat DJ, it kind of like helped me break the whole, I need to get every single LOL OMG doll. But now that we have like, you know, like another 13 dolls coming out before like the end of 2020. I'm just like done. I can't keep up with them. That That's so much money. So I'll pick like maybe like a select few that I want to buy, but I can't just keep buying them all. So yeah, I, I, I don't want to buy these. So one reason this one's here is because um, it's going to be stupid expensive. There's not going to be enough. They're going to sell out instantaneously. So more than anything, the reason I don't want to buy this is because I'm super salty that I probably wouldn't even be able to buy this. And that is the 35th anniversary Gem and the Holograms doll set with the extra head. And honestly, it's not even my favorite outfit of hers or anything. And I think it's like $300 or something. Okay. Like a lot of money. And... <clears throat> It's very neon, it's very 80s. Um, the face molds are absolutely gorgeous, like her as Jem or her as Jerrica. Uh, it's super pretty, but it's a lot of money. Not my favorite outfits. They're probably only gonna make like 300, so they instantaneously sell out. Like, it's just, I, I don't need to buy it. So I bought last year's version of this. I thought it looked so cool in the promo images. I was super excited and then when I got it, it was very disappointing. I'll link that video below. You guys can see like how much I didn't really care for it. And I, I spent like, luckily I got it on sale, but even on sale I only spent like $60 on the house and it still felt like I spent way too much. And that is these smaller fold up but bigger Barbie houses. Like they're bigger than like the smallest fold up Barbie houses, but they're not quite as big as like the actual Barbie houses. And I can just tell from looking at it, like it's reusing a bunch of sets that didn't sell like that weird desk and bunk set. Um, it's got one of those bathtub slash pool situations, those weird little baby stairs going up that like in no way in real life would ever like meet code. Um, the kitchen's really small, um, just a lot of like negative empty space and everything and yeah, it's just, it, it's a no for me, dog. Like, I, I, it'll probably be like a hundred dollars and it's just not worth a hundred dollars. Maybe fifty dollars, maybe, but even then, I don't know. Cause like, you can pack it up and go and everything, but like, just the idea of that there is a crow that is just asking for attention. Um, yeah, so I don't need it and I'm not going to buy it. Oof, yes. I remember these popping up a while ago and I've never seen them in stores and then I forgot they existed and everything, which is probably another reason I don't want to buy these, but these Glam Glow Barbie kits, there's no point in buying these just because it has Barbie on the front. There's nothing like, I think they might be pink on the inside, I'm not 100% sure, but that would be it. Like, it's not gonna give you doll skin or anything, it's not gonna, like, it doesn't come with like a cute little exclusive pair of Barbie shoes or anything like that, like, that would be kind of cool. But, and these, these Glam Glow sets, they're like over $60, you know, and that's just a lot to have your skin burn and everything. Like, the masks are okay, but I'm pretty sure there's like better masks for cheaper. And yeah, just just because they slap some pink on it and a couple of Barbie silhouettes doesn't mean that it's worth Barbie fans spending that kind of money when you could be spending that money on like a signature doll that you want more, you know? So yeah, I don't need it. So I keep forgetting these exist, and this might be an unpopular opinion because I know some people like these, and it's these Fail Fix dolls. I've watched a couple of videos on them, and like the gimmicks, whatever, but it's just not my thing. They're a little too like cutesy looking, and they kind of remind me of like something you would see in like an off-brand like doll store or something. Like even the packaging doesn't really like grab my attention, but they're not mine. Maybe like the cute little Asian girl with like the buns in her hair, maybe, but like even, I don't know. 
I don't think they're worth it. They're they're less than 20 bucks, which isn't like a horrible price, but it's just like not my gimmick. Yeah. I don't I don't need to buy these. Yes. So these dolls. Um I have been watching a certain YouTuber who I'm not going to bring up, but they have been doing unboxings and reviews on these like na 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 surprise um teen dolls and everything and they're just like slightly taller than like the other dolls and all that stuff but they are 70 dollars i don't need to spend 70 dollars on like a backpack with a doll in it like that's that's so much for what comes in it like it's it's not worth 70 dollars it might be worth 50 maybe um Especially where the backpack's not even like a playset or anything on the inside, like like the other na 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 surprise dolls that I've done a video on. Like, th there's no furniture, there's no closet in there or anything like that. Like, and the certain YouTuber I've been watching, it they kind of turned me off of the dolls because it's basically like a giant ass kiss like commercial the entire time, like talking about this and hitting buzzwords and saying certain like points of sale and everything and I just I distrust like YouTubers when they're doing that kind of ass kissy like there's a difference between like loving a product and genuinely loving it and then, then like kissing MGA's ass just to like hope that you get PR from them you know like and whatever like if you want like PR and you're willing to like sell out to your fan base for that like you know do that just be like honest about it I don't know but yeah I don't need to buy these $70 is way too much they are admittedly cute like the na 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 dolls are cute but they have the problem that that the rainbow high dolls have where like the variation of skin tone is just awful um and on a cloth doll I don't see why you couldn't have like deeper skin tones so yeah I don't need to buy it Okay, guys, and that's it. That was my first anti-doll, anti-haul. Um, I just want to remind you guys that I am in no way saying, like, you're an idiot for, like, wanting any of these or anything like that. Like, it's your money. You spend it however you want. Like, I'm just trying to talk myself out of buying some of this stuff because it's getting ridiculous. We're getting a lot of stuff. It's really expensive and everything. And I should really be spending my money on dolls that I love, not just dolls that are coming out. And if it helps, like, somebody watching this, like, also be like, hey, well, yeah, maybe I don't need that, then that's great too. But yeah, by no means am I saying you're an idiot for wanting to buy these. You go spend your money however you want, boo-boo. Like, you do you. I do not care. I just am trying to help myself not spend my money. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever. Um, you know, I'm over a thousand subscribers now. I'm feeling good. Um, I really appreciate all you guys that do watch. Like, uh, I honestly, I never would have thought that like a thousand people would care what I have to say. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna be going through Instagram tomorrow and find out that there's like another 30 LOL OMG dolls coming out and we still don't have LOL OMG boys.